Um, all right. Hi, everyone. My name is Karen. Um, today, I'm going to talk about web animation using uh, CSS and JavaScript. Um, I, were, uh, I, I was aware that some of the teams in the morning that used um, similar techniques that I'm going to introduce today. Uh, so hopefully, by the end of the presentation, you guys are uh, going to be like more willing to implement a web application in your applications, and um, um, it will be fun and easy. <laughs> um, OK, so uh, what is SVG? Has, have you guys came across any image files that was SVG um, format? Have you guys seen it? Uh, no, OK. So uh, it stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. I'll explain later. Um, but uh, just for the presentation, we're going through a couple demos that use uh, CSS, uh, pure CSS animations. Uh, and then later on, we will touch base on uh, manipulating JavaScript to to control your animation flow. Um, so, first of all, um, I think the the more common uh, format of the images are the uh, raster images, uh, which are the .jpg or uh, .png format. Um, those are pixel based, so when you zoom in, you lose uh, pretty much lose your uh, image qualities. But uh, the vector images are uh, scale, scalable, so no matter how big you, you zoom in, you'll keep the quality. Um, so just a quick comparison that you guys can see like how bad the quality is when you zoom in the, the rest of the images. Um, so uh, SVGs are good for logo designs, um, um, but not for photography, um, photos. Um, but just before we jump into the demos, uh, this is what SVG looks like. Um, what does this remind you guys of? HTML. Yes, HTML element. So it's very easy, just plug inside your HTML and you're ready to use it. Um, and uh, you, you can, you probably, <laughs> You probably realize that the, there are like um, a couple of SVG classes. The um, the G element is just basically grouping different paths of your um, SVGs together. So if you have like if you want to move your your rectangles and circles together, you basically group them together. Um, and the path is basically what the vector setting is. So there's like math mathematical functions that calculate uh, where, where your lines goes to. And uh, if you're interested in what those numbers mean, uh, you can click on here. It will take you to like a more detailed explanation on what that number means. But we're not going to go detail on that. Um, so uh, there are some attributes that are, are shared uh, by SVG and CSS, but there are also SVG exclusive attributes, for example, feel. So it's not using colors. Uh, just be aware that when you're using them, um, if you want to learn more, just uh, go check out the full list of the attributes. Uh, so uh, the first uh, CSS uh, property that um, makes uh, just one class to transform in either color or the size, um, uh, the, that's the format right there. Um, the quick example would be uh, you have a gear icon uh, and uh, you have a transform to rotate 45 degrees and uh, you scale to 1.3 size of the original size. Um, then your recipe, uh, what the recipe is doing here is you're setting the transform uh, to finish in 0.4 uh, seconds and you have a time function called ease out but I'll show you like or what those time functions doing later. Um, and uh, you will do basically what this will do is to uh, scale as well as to rotate at the same time. Um, so here is what I was talking about here. So when you hover over, you see the icon, uh, like the gear icon is rotating and scaling at the same time. Um, and here, uh, I've noticed one very cool thing in your dev tool is that you can click on your time functions and you can see all the available time functions. So, so you probably didn't like, realize what ease out means, but this is basically means that uh, when you're exiting out the effect, that gives you like, a more smooth finishing point. Um, and uh, you can see like, different effects 
that you can use. Um, there are like a couple others, but it's pretty fun. You can check it out. Um, so back to here. Um, uh, there's one thing that I realized, um, like when you're rotating the elements uh, for HTML elements like div or um, studio elements, uh, the the default uh, pivot is actually in the center of your your element, but it's different for SVG because uh, the default pivot is at the zero zero. Uh, so when I first trying to rotate that SVG element, it doesn't actually like turn around the center, but it was turning around like crazy. So uh, <laughs> definitely be careful with that. Uh, so like what you can see, the, the div has like the default pivot right here, and your rectangle SVG basically rotate uh, from the top of your div, uh, around the top of your div. Um, so there's a way to fix it. Um, but before that, I uh, just want to point out, so if you, uh, like earlier I used uh, 50 and 50%, uh, that is based on your, um, your, uh, uh, the size of your element. So uh, it's not the entire canvas, but if you want to set based on canvas, you need to use um, absolute values. Um, so this is the way to fix it. You just to transform origin 50, 50, uh, percent, then you will uh, set the pivot into the center of your element. Um, so next we're talking about a keyframe that introduced more complexity into your animations. So uh, think of keyframe as like a set, set of events that are going to happen in the course of your animations. Um, so just by looking at this uh, timeline, like can you guys guess what the animation would do. So from 0% from the beginning, you're changing your color, and then you're moving on to scale like bigger, and then you scale to the maximum size, and then you scale back, and scale, scale, ba uh, scale larger, and then go back to original size. So like, can you guys guess like, right, yeah, exactly. So this is the example of the the bouncing effect that you can do uh, using keyframe. Um, um, so next, I want to show you guys a more complex animation. Um, it's an alien ship. So um, when when the alien ship bouncing up and down, the the other two kind of disappear and have some crazy light going on. Um, it's actually not that complicated. Uh, uh, if you, I'll show you the code right now. Um, so uh, if you look at the SVG element inside of your HTML uh, file, so you have um, you have the big alien ship with the two other ones grouped together as UFO building float. Um, so they're all inside of this one uh, G element, and uh, for your building, uh, it's each single one of them are in their independent uh, G element. Um, so this will give, so uh, be clear to label your uh, elements so you can uh, manipulate them better. Um, so this is your keyframe that um, basically you set the, the course of event with different uh, transformations. Uh, okay, so this this part is uh, moving up and down the, the big building, uh, moving up down based that on that keyframe. Um, and uh, the rest two will hide and show based on that, the other two keyframe uh, settings right there. Um, so anime, um, okay, so, so anime is basically this similar to transition, but uh, instead of the um, properties that you're only, you're using the keyframe, as a transformations. Um, so you can do something like uh, leather drawings. So you will create the illusion that the leather is drawing by itself. Um, and uh, it, the, the anime functions um, is actually uh, trying to offset the stroke uh, in your 
in your total length of the stroke. And uh, by the end, like when you reach the, the end of the animations, that you the offset is sliding going to zero, so you can actually see the entire um, letter. Uh, so in the last, I want to show you guys um, what you can do with um, that function using uh, JavaScript. So uh, I, I think the, the main point for JavaScript to play in here is to control the time uh, when you want the animation to trigger and how you want it to finish. Um, I, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, definitely go check out um, some library and tool and courses that will uh, take you step by step and you can learn more about it. Uh, any questions? Um, uh, so I think mixing is in the SAS, uh, like more in the SAS part of it. Um, I'm not sure, like I haven't used a SAS in uh, making animations, uh, but just for like direct uh, like visual effects. Um, I think you probably want to stick with just a pure CSS. Um, but uh, if um, I'll go look it up if actually the apply applyable to SAS. Um, any other questions? Um, and um, so you don't have to include all that past information if you use CSS, right? If you do like CSS uh, animations. Mm -hmm. Right, so you, you need to have your uh, your source SVG ready so you can use it to, to manipulate the, the path. Um, Mark? Uh, do you know when uh, scalable vectors after this came about? Like, was it with like HTML5 or CSS3 or like when like support came out? Um, I, I think SVG is uh, kind of not, um, I'm, I don't think it's more re relatable to HTML. I think it's, it just came out. Um, I, I don't know when exactly it came out, uh, but I think um, um, I I don't know the like the close relations of SVG uh, SVG with um, HTML. Um, but uh, good question. Um, I need to look it up later. Um, okay. Thank you.